up? Just hang out here with my huge zucchini. And uh, I'm gonna make some zucchini lasagna. My little garden has grown enough to provide this gigantic zucchini. The gophers ate every single one except for this one, but what a one it was. My basil's now grown big enough to contribute, so I'm gonna pick a little bit here. I'm gonna go for the younger, softer looking leaves. A little bee, hi bee. You look nice. Sorry bee, sorry, sorry, didn't wanna upset you. Just enjoy yourself, little bee. Okay, so this is a good amount. Let's go make some lasagna. Okay, we are now inside with my gigantic zucchini and basil. And I got basically everything that we need laid out here. Minced garlic, Italian seasoning that I consider to be thyme, oregano, garlic, it's a little, it's a tiny little bit of rosemary, hook and spray, pepper, salt, Parmesan cheese, marinara, olive oil, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, onion, one pound of beef, and a pan, okay? I let this get real big. So the, the skin is super tough. So I'm actually gonna, for the first time, try uh, skinning this and then doing it. So we'll see how that goes. I've never skinned a zucchini. Now look at that, it's pretty easy. And uh, the chickens are really gonna appreciate that. Oh yeah, an egg, I got an egg. Come on, buddy. Come on, but oh. <laughs> That's easier. I mean, I didn't really come up with this recipe. I just heard uh, that zucchinis, well, uh, Marina started making like zucchini uh, spaghetti. And then, and then we're like, oh, we can make zucchini lasagna. And then this is kind of like just the birth child of Google and experience, I guess. You can usually just use a mandolin for this. But uh, today we're going old school. Huh. Huh. Oh look, that's what this is for. Just go. Just put it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's what for. Fuck it. But yeah, I like to skin things before I chop off the ends, just so I have something to hold on to. Let's put this in my chicken bucket. Whoop. Okay. No, the dangerous part. Ooh, trap time. Yeah. This is kind of like one of the only things I can do with a zucchini this big because otherwise, how am I gonna make anyone eat this much zucchini at once? This recipe is definitely can be done with smaller zucchini. Since it's so big, I'm gonna try and cut it in half before I cut it in half. Um, so, hiya. Try and make this as accurate as I can. I want like a ham, a hatchet, a hammer, a soft hammer. Just be very careful, okay? I'm saying prayers. Oh my God. I'm so scared. <sighs> you are in there. Whoop. I do this as safely as I can. Oh God, I have the fear. I have the fear. Okay, 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 okay. So scary. Oh God, oh, it's scary. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. This is the chicken's favorite part. They love this. Um, so I'm gonna take all the insides out. And scrape them out. And they just go nuts for this. I mean, they just want to kill each other when I lay this stuff out. So you get all the soft stuff out from the inside. So it looks like that. And there's no like real technique to it. I mean, if it works then it's right. But you can just scrape it or you can like kind of outline it and then scrape it. Whatever works for you, boo. You know what, I bet I can make these fit on a mandolin. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make this fucking happen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know. Okay, mandolin time. Do not cut yourself, Ronda Rousey. I've done this before. I mean, I've cut myself before.
Oh my god. Uh, not, not a good start, not a good start. Yeah, something. There you go. Oh, the fear. I'm wearing Jessamine Duke's streaming shirt, which definitely inspired my streaming shirt because I want to be cool like Jessamine Duke. And uh, she streams on YouTube, so go check out her channel. Jasmine Duke, spelled Jasmine Duke. I don't know if you can read it. Um, but there you go. I'm afraid. I'm breaking things. Oh, God. Oh, that's part of it. Okay, so when you get to this part when it scares the shit out of you, um, start doing it sideways, I've realized. I do it like this. By the way, I already preset my oven to start heating up now at uh, 375. So you're not doing all this and then waiting for the oven. Same thing, when you get to the scary part, go sideways. Make sure your thumb's not sticking out because you'll slice off your thumb. When you start to get to the danger zone, just let it go. But if you really like want to do it, you can put it on the table and slice it with a knife, but I'm not doing that. right time. I'm so afraid of this fucking knife. Oh, I love you. Hi. Hi. I want to make you such a good fucking noise on your knife. I need to cook the beef and saute the vegetable. So, um, I need half a cup of onion. Okay. Half a cup. I don't know, is that like half an onion? Gordon says slice them this way because they won't make you cry as much, but I'm not afraid of my emotions. I don't know if that's half a cup. Fuck. But I'm just gonna let it red. I'm gonna use all of it. Thank you, onion. It smells so good. Ugh. My one ache. Chicken's gonna have that back. Ow. Ow. What the fuck? I felt like, like a splinter from class under my fucking finger, but I don't know how that happened. I was like, I'm touching my shorts. Whatever, I'm a tough bitch. I'll go through it. Okay. Um, now, one half cup of uh, Parmesan. I'm gonna go a little bit light. I'm not the hugest fan of Parmesan, but Trav loves it, so he went. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna eyeball that shit. Be like, here, some stuff. That's the uh, garlic powder. This is some thyme. It's a little Italian y. There you go. Just a tiny bit. Just a little teeny tiny. I'm just doing a tiny bit of all of them. A real oregano. now. You're Italian. Um, and tiniest bit. Rosemary, because rosemary can be overpowering. Eh, tiny. Okay, cool. Seriously, what the fuck happened? All right. Whisk it. Hey, whisk, hey, whisk. Oh, uh, motherfucking righty. I think it is time to move to this stuff. Okay, cool. So one pound of beef. Let's start trying to get this brown. 
And then once it's spread, let's cover that bad boy. All right, so I'm gonna let this brown mostly. Um, then I'm gonna throw the onions on top um, and get them to be, get them to soften up and then uh, throw the minced garlic on top. Now that the minced garlic and the uh, onion and the beef are all good, I'm gonna add 24 ounces of marinara. And now it is time to start the layering the lasagna. Um, I ended up not having to use the olive oil because the beef itself is so fatty. Didn't really need it. Um, but I am going to use the spray. I have olive oil spray to spray the pan. So I'll spray the pan first. Lovely. Um, then the first layer is going to be sauce. Ooh, I'm so strong. I'm just going to put about half of that in there. Spread it out. basically cover the whole bottom. Oh yeah, that's good. Now I'm going to place the zucchini. You're supposed to like pat it dry, but I ain't got time for that. And you can like put salt on them to try and dry them out, but I don't mind it being a little soggy. And I just start layering that zucchini. And I like to air on the side of just more zucchini because look at all this zucchini. Basically just trying to make it so you can't see the sauce anymore. How are thick you want the layers to be, you know? Kind of up to you, up to you. Now we do the ricotta. Keep in mind, you know, your pan is only so deep. So if you make your layers extra thick, you're gonna not be able to do very many layers, so. Keep that in the mind. So basically you want to use half of what you get. And just try and keep everything from mixing, you know? Okay. Looks about good. Now we put the mozzarella. Just put it like, like same, same. It's like a nice layer to taste. Depends on how much cheese you like, but keep in mind these are gonna be two layers, so, okay. And um, I'm gonna actually place my basils in now. Now you can just, at any time, you can put the basil leaves in while you're doing the sauce. Um, you can wait until you're placing your thing. I kind of like just big leaves of basil. They kind of, you know, saute and sh shrivel up when you put them in the sauce, so that's also to taste, but. I think it's fun spreading them around. Beauty is symmetry here. That's cute. All right. I have to be a little bit more accurate than the beginning where you can just slosh it all down and spread it around because um, the spreading could mix it. So you just gotta be careful. Please don't drop this inside the pan. All right, last layer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'd say if you don't have a gigantic zucchini like that, I'd say this takes about three large zucchinis. Okay. This looks respectable. And now I'm going to top it with a mozzarella. I will whatever. Cheese on top. Cheese. And mind you, you know, the cheese is going to melt and spread out, so. You don't have to entirely cover it because it's going to spread. So now our oven is preheated. I am going to cover with tin foil 
for the first 30 minutes and then uncover for the last 20 minutes. minutes later. Ooh, that smells good. Put a convention bake. So I like it. And the light so I can stare at it like a weirdo. Mozzarella is spread out. It's a good, really good t looking top layer right now. 15 minutes later. All right, everybody. Ready. All right. So just kind of wait till it's golden brown with a D at the end. Oh, yeah. I'll present to you. This is zucchini lasagna. Okay, you're supposed to let it sit for a while. Don't eat it while it's boiling, that's not good. Just marvel at it. Fucking hungry. I'm fucking horny and hungry. God damn it. I need to turn off the oven. I'll be back. Okay, I like to use a spatula with holes so to get the sogginess out and make sure you really hiya to cut that. Let it drain and plop it in. Let it drain and then plop it in. Hold on. Hot. But good. Did you blow on yours? <laughs> Why not? Mmm, Garfield. Now I'm hungry and horny. <laughs> <laughs>